Never rushes. Austria with 11 points tonight, so he's in double figures for the 21st time in his career. But Maciel's falling in love with that three, and uh, that's a little embarrassing when you're 6'9 and you get a three-point attempt blocked. They're going to have a rough practice tomorrow. You can best believe that. <laughs> you can take that to the bank. Austria with the miss. Edwards ripped the rebound at him. F is his hands, and there's Adrian's first field goal of the night. It took him 37 minutes to get it. Three threes in seven attempts. Walker for three. Can't get this one to go. Adrian with the putback. And that's the Jeff Adrian that we know. Into the NCAA tournament. Exactly. And, you know, he wants to play at that high level, you know, obviously. Adrian for two more. He's got ten. Austri, shot clock down to ten. Down low, Adrian for two more. And you can. He had four oh. NCAA championships in 15 seasons at that level. Then went to the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and then on to Wisconsin. Adrian at Landry and off the glass and good. For Connecticut, here's Hughes. Landry inside and gets it rejected. Down into the corner, A.J. Price, the All-American. Nice look to Adrian, off the glass and good. Nice look by Price that time. Take care of the basketball. Dyson, who was six of eight in that first half. Look at the left hand. Adrian there to clean it up. Because when they once they get to the 12.50, 12.45 mark, they know they're going to get timeout. Commercial break at the 12-minute mark. So they get this blow plus the extra two minutes to the Adrian and a chance at a three-point play for the Huskies. This is Dyson back in to Adrian. Lowers his shoulder. Create separation and then the tip up and good. He got his own rebound. Right side, Austria. Adrian on the floor and uses the left hand. And Tim O'Shea wants to talk things over with his club down five this season. Here's Walker ahead to Adrian. Catches it, is surrounded by four guys in the dark church. Didn't matter. Coaches in New England. Won a couple of state championships there when Craig was a player there, 103 and 6 in four years. Adrian makes it a 9 0 UConn run. Lyle back to Gresham. Wants to go right at Dyson. It does. And Adrian with the first block of the afternoon for him, pulled down by Burrell. Down low right, and Adrian rejected that one, didn't he? <laughs> Fifth block shot of the game for UConn, the second for Adrian who catches it at the other end. How about the plays he made in the two end? A little bit, but more options, and I think that's more where, you know, playing these early games will benefit them down the road to play without him. Adrian with the putback. I mean, people have talked about a 30, a 40, a 50-point game today. Here we've got a 22-point game with four and a half minutes to go. He played nearly two minutes. The beat set the screen inside Adrian. Beautiful look inside. You're clogging things up in the lane. That's exactly what Delaware State wants to do. Adrian creates some space and ends nearly a five-minute UConn field goal drought. As they'll go right back to that lob. A.J. Price for three. Not sure they wanted it with eight seconds left. But there's Adrian to clean up. So it all works out. It's a win. A.J. Price, who just hit a three, dumps down a wide open Adrian with his first field goal. That's what you call a dime right there. That's eyes in the back of your head. I mean, can you get the shots you were getting before? Gamble spins in the lane with Richard Hamilton, Kevin Freeman, and Khalid el -Amin. And you know what happened in 99. They also won a national. And how frustrating must it be to go to the rim, think you have a wide open shot. Adrian with a good, quick turnaround basket off a nice feed with it. Starts to move baseline. That's blocked. Starting to get into the game. Adrian against Watt. Turns, lays it up and in. Betts, who's been good in the second half. Watt on a drive. That's partially blocked. A little different look. Connecticut back on top. Pierce on the drive. That one's blocked. Great ball game going here in Buffalo. 51 48 underneath Adrian. Here's Adrian again. Turn, turns again, off the glass, and good. Boy, that's a major move right there. I don't know how he made that. I mean, the guards are digging down. Walker, Adrian jams it home. 18 for Jeff. The rebound comes down to Dyson. Very physical, bangs into the guy, gets the rebound. Austria dumps off inside for Adrian. There they are. Of course. That's part of the fun of the college game. Adrian 
He is so hard to stop yeah, when is. you get him that low on the block. Splits two defenders. Great nice move. Give and go inside. Adrian and one. That's what a senior does, John. Makes a great move, hesitates into the basket. Shows the ball, ball fake, in, layup, and a foul. That was called on Danny Carter. Didn't do anything in a hurry. Great pass. Backward. Walker got away with a walk, but he led Adrian down the floor. Pulls it away. No look to Adrian. And no excuse for the Sea Wolves. No excuse. Here again. Austri almost walked with the ball. Yes, he did. But he got it over to Adrian in time. Seeing if superior your team in Connecticut this far, and they have not shied away at all. Maybe that's some of the Steve Peichel UConn influence there is. Adrian puts that one home with an and one. That's it, and that, I think you're right about the Peichel influence, you know. They're gonna come out and get in your face and play hard, and uh, that's what they do. But here again, Adrian, men and boys. And that's the fourth on Cox. Well, Adrian will go to the line 0 for 3 from the free throw line tonight, but he'll have a oh, I think Dyson might have gotten a piece of that ball as Moore laid it up, and now Adrian will flush it. Uh, talent, it's more about the middle makeup of that team in transition after losing Ludo. Adrian, pull up jump shot, and he knocks it down. Great rhythm for Jeff Adrian. And Seattle, they call this the Battle of Seattle. UConn got off to an early lead, Sags responding. <laughs> Inside, Robinson dumps it down. Adrian has it blocked by Day. And Adrian gets it back and powers it up and in. Different looks. And using Han as kind of a baseline runner, trying to use him more as a passer than a score. Nero gets a shot blocked by Adrian. Oh, oh, in that tournament against Paradise Jam. Yeah, right. two really good teams. Adrian. Adrian again. Very tough when he gets positioning, as we just said. Two of the some thumb ligaments, I believe. And there's Adrian with authority. One of those shots that the beat's presence changes in the paint. Austri to Adrian. And Jeff Adrian shows a little touch around the basket, and Ed Cooley says, we need to talk about this as well, guys. Got to slow these guys down. Nero has it rejected out of bounds by Adrian. Walker. Stanley Robinson. Oh, my. Now that's, you know, if you're going to play zone, you better learn to block, block out inside, and nobody got a body on number four. And so they'll change shots, and you know you have to get into foul trouble. Adrian. Nice. Shows range from 18. He puts his name into the draft last year. Adrian on the drive. Walker scoots it down on the break. Dyson spins. Nice Got away with it, maybe, as he ran over Hahn. But fed Adrian inside. That was a nice play by Hahn. This is where Dewan Summers is very good, and that's backing a guy in. But Adrian just swatted that away. The beat or Jeff Adrian, that is going to open up the offensive glass. That's exactly what happened on that play. Lob inside, Adrian. And it's going to count. Especially now coming back with that ACL surgery to play like he did against Gonzaga was phenomenal. Dyson the miss. Adrian had it. Gets it back and lays it in. Jeff Adrian has a chance to join Emeka Okafor as the only players under Jim Calhoun with 1,000 points and 1,000 rebounds in their UConn careers. Double-double in the game against Gonzaga, but then very quiet off the bench against Fairfield Friday. There's a block for the Hoyas. Dyson stays with it, misses the follow. Another offensive rebound. And it's Jeff Adrian who gets the bucket. Jay Billis, the Big East opener, and what a game it has been so far. Visiting Georgetown has led the entire night. But here comes the senior, Jeff Adrian, starting to take over. Touched. 6-2 going over the top of 6-9 for the follow. Maybe 6-2, but he's got the arms of a 6-7 kick. Adrian, one more time. They just play a basic defense, help defense. Here's now a driving shot sent back to McCrae's. That's right. The Williams. Russell Ray, here is a slam dunk. I mean, guys flying in the passing lanes all over the place. Terrific move by Jeff Adrian. The Rutgers can't score off it. Now here come the Huskies full speed. Adrian, who was the best in the Big East at double-doubles, and he's going to be... Here's Echenique. 
Higgins tough to shoot inside on. The unselfish play. But I'll tell you what, if you continue to get dunks and layups yeah. and uncontested shots like that, this game will be over. Move. Oh, you gotta love it, huh? Adrian powers his way up underneath. And now Bob Huggins can't believe there was no call. We are at high definition. Robinson. Adrian. Butler being more aggressive. Good feet underneath, but a block. Throw him back in there. He played well, played aggressively in the first half. Inside feed to Adrian. And he'll go to the foul line for a three-point play. Play close to the basket more, which is his strength. So right here, this is a clean catch and right to the basket. Notice how he posted in the paint area. Side, if you double team him, he has difficulty finding the open man. Adrian uses his strength to power at home. He's got 11. I shoot it real hard, maybe he won't block it. <laughs> That's what he did. Here comes Adrian, kicks it to Robinson. Back to Adrian and he scores. That's that inside game, Bob, so difficult. Another speedster. Ostry dumps it inside, and the basket is good. Mr. Good Consistency, line. Adrian on the interior. Lost his dribble momentarily, turns, shoots, bending off. Rebound by Adrian, and a putback. Well, that's right, exactly what I told you. The second shots are going to determine it, and the advantage... Has stepped in the lineup for Cincinnati. Right now, he's on Adrian. Looking at the goal, and now back to the basket. Oh, this is beautiful. You notice how he did not put the ball on the floor. He waited for the double team to clear. That is an educated play. Even if it's on the way up, it's automatic goal 10. Good rule. Allows officials a little bit more discretion on something like that. It becomes rather obvious as Adrian cleans up, working his way toward 1,000 rebounds. He already has, again, over 1,300 career points at UConn. From the free throw line, they leave Adrian alone, and he buries it again. He's finding a nice little hole from 15 feet out. I think they want more length because he's been making those threes. Last year in a game that we broadcast here, the Huskies and the Bearcats went down to the final gun floor. Yeah, increases the ball handling. Walker misses. Nobody blocked out Adrian. Guess who cleans up? I'll tell you. The workhorse, the blue-collar worker. 72-63-R score. A.J. Price off a scoreless night in Morgantown has been blistering tonight. The three-point shot is very much in evidence. And, of course, Jeff Adrian, the power forward of the UConn Huskies, there to clean things up. And the Warrior with a glance at the student section. Nice job with defensive pressure. Walker, Adrian. Oh, he might get away with a couple steps, but... Well... Working on Adrian, turns around, Adrian, that's his second of the game. Adrian's shot is good. First half with 10 points. Well, he was the most effective guard out there. You know, we talk about, as we see Jeff Adrian with the score there, we talk about Adrian. Walker comes out of there with the rebound. Great dish to Adrian, who flushes it down. Player for Luke Connor second. Oh, nice put back. It is the workhorse right there, Jeff Ader, St. John's down. St. John's having to exhibit every bit of effort to stay in the game. Shot clock was down to three. Into the middle, Adrian turns. Just like that, buries it. Hang in front of him. And that's partially blocked. Mitchell rebounds, Zeke Hall pushes. Zell blocked. Connecticut has missed their last five shots, and then there's a steal. Flush by Adrian. Too much. That helps when you're playing against the bigger front line. Make your jump shot, you gotta box out. Adrian turns around with a 15-footer. When you have a lot of jumpers, you tend to really limit the free throws. Adrian. At least for a couple of monster dunks, including this one. He's got six here in the half. It's almost like when he gets the ball in the post run, nobody wants to be around him. <laughs> Going back. Numbers. And 
Jeff Hadrian. Deadly finishing. <laughs> Defeat with three on the shot clock. Jump hook. No, Adrian. And the putback. Yeah, they did. Well, just lay it in. When he pulled the rim down, that's what shot the ball back out. Great pass. And that goes down. Adrian and the foul. That one's costly not only because it gives Adrian an opportunity for a three-point play, but because it's Cunningham's second foul, here's Pena with the miss and Adrian with the finish. Just a great pass by A.J. Price coming down in transition. That could be a five-point swing. If Adrian was open inside, they just couldn't see him. Adrian going strong, a lot of contact in there, and Adrian puts UConn back on top by two. And now Reynolds has it. Reynolds gets past Austri and puts it off the side of the backboard. Hey, so they switch defenses a lot, they get out and press. Tubby Smith has done a great job of that program. About the position Adrian got inside, he made it pay off. Well, he showed great poise, Reese, when he got the ball inside. Perimeter and try and make perimeter shots. Now the first good touch for Khabib. He finds Adrian, who knocks down the 16-footer. Terrific two-man play. Threes were barely eight minutes in. That one not there. Adrian might have gotten away with a push-up and then back up strong for the follow. Weaker schedule. Play Nevada. Play Connecticut. By the way, they're going to play also to wash three. Play seven through. Aaron Gody upset with himself as he missed one from in close. Adrian lays it in at the other end, coming out of the timeout. Kemble Walker, the push off to Austria. Adrian, the long jumper. Big Largest time. lead of the night for either team. UConn by nine. He's just a big time performer. He really makes big plays. Like that. Adrian. Shot doesn't go. Gets his miss. Back up with it. This season have actually gone 26 consecutive regular season games without being out rebounded. Adrian again. Shots, but they keep getting second shots. They'd ideally like to keep it within double digits. Adrian knocks down the jumper. Wow. Oh, Showing some range there. Bazookas, shot clock down the four. Walker with the left hand. Doesn't go. Knocked in. Nine for 13 from the free throw line tonight. Three goes down. Hanky runs the floor well, and he's very productive off the bench. Providence's bench with Hanky and Brooks has been very good of late. Adrian, nice move. Gets a roll. Jeff Adrian, once he gets position, low block, forget it. He's got such strength down there. Dermot. One of the all-time great players in Providence history. Nice and high post play. Adrian. Matchup set up for Providence right here with the beat on the bench. Big block. This time it's Adrian against Providence. In the dark uniforms, 10 to shoot, first possession, second half. Adrian steps into one and puts it off the window and in. Austria and Walker off the UConn bench. The crowd has quieted. Adrian will change that. What a move, a basket, Jeff Adrian. Full confidence. McDermott battling, stripped away, it was Adrian. Don in cruise control right now. Austria watched by McKenzie, seven to shoot. Can it lay up, bucket tip. Perfect for Adrian. Austri, crowd wanted a walk, and the end result is a jam for Adrian. Over and then airballed the three. The beat trying to lead Kemba Walker off nice to look. Adrian for the dunk. Nice look. I said it was team at shoot around today. They ran a play and they didn't execute it properly. And he said, guys, you can't do that against the beat. He's nine feet tall. Now he's not quite nine feet. But him skills, although now Williams turns it over. Kemba Walker end to end. Adrian can't corral it. Now he's got it and count it as he muscles it up and in. I tell you, this kid is a winner. He's got that special winner's mentality. Jeff Adrian. On the other end, Terrence Williams tried to be a little too unselfish and made a pass when he should have taken the ball up and scored. Now, Adrian's just a warrior. I mean, he's just a physical presence inside. Loves to win. Loves to compete. The crowd didn't like some of his emotion after the play. But can Kentucky fans relax? Are they able to yeah. relax? <laughs> They're very passionate. Uh, Adrian, boy, UConn is breaking the pressure, getting good looks. I was just unselfish basketball. Inside and breaking the pressure. Well, that's what we talked about earlier. They're yeah. going to attack the pressure. That was their number one priority. Attack the pressure. A mismatch, and Adrian takes advantage. Blessing in the way. Robinson has not played since the first three minutes of the game when he picked up those two fouls. Adrian inside. 
If they could get more four-minute segments than UConn, they could find themselves in the game at the end. And they have done a fabulous job this far. Jeff Adrian, you better find him. A good four-inch height advantage. He's got to be a little bit more aggressive offensively. Adrian, strong move. Takes it down in the paint and fades away. Walker into the middle. And terrific job by Jeff Adrian. Really scuffling with tendonitis in his right knee. Beheim says he's at about 50%. Adrian off a nice whip inside from A.J. Price. Number one team in the country. Trying to break the sixth tie of the game is Adrian. And he'll have a chance to do it for three points. He he came into tonight making six of his last nine threes. Adrian will have a chance for another three-point play. It on the deck now and also make shots who go opposite. Well, you can make it uh, price wide open, and that's that. Austria seven on the shot clock. Oh, up and under doesn't go. Adrian gets the bucket. You know, last year we did that uh, West Virginia game with. Uh... Well, they had the talent. Very quickly, Adrian finishes on the other end. A bad game yet on a Saturday, have we? No, it's just not going to happen. This league, everybody fights so hard. Speaking of fighting, how about Adrian? Muscles his way in. He's got seven points. The odds of that. Sahin, of course, the former pirate. <laughs> Hops, skipping a bucket by Jeff Adrian. He's got nine. First beat Duke. I thought Wake was very, very long, lean, athletic. And of course, we all know how good people are. Big time gather. Field swatted out of bounds by Jeff Adrian. Well, you've got Price inside. Adrian scores over to Juan Blair. He does not want to get another foul. Just keep riding the big fella. That hard to get the ball. It's hard to quarrel with. Nice pass. And Blair very slow recovered on his show. And the starting five on the floor now for Connecticut. Adrian strong down the lane with Young right on and he still managed to score. And backing up was Young. Young went for the steal and didn't get it. Adrian from the elbow. Can Jamie Dixon wait for the media timeout that'll come on the next whistle? After they had three very quick fouls beginning of the half. Nice cross screen. Pretty play. And Adrian got the roll. Connecticut by one. It's the tone that you're here to play. Do you agree with that or not? Yeah, tearing somebody's arm off. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sent a, I, I just sent think a pretty good message, didn't it? Said, this Robinson, the mid-range jumper. That's no good. Put back in. That has been really UConn's Achilles heel for the last five, six years or so. Again, a Schalt altered by this UConn defense. A.J. Price pushing it back up for UConn. Off the window, Adrian, the rebound and the tip. 11 rebounds now for Jeff Adrian. Adrian posting up, Rivas. It's a difficult shot by Jeff Adrian. He's got seven now. The Bulls looking to run. Howard gets that shot turned away by Adrian. Get a double by, which means they go all the way to the quarterfinals which is a very big advantage for those teams. Three seconds on the shot clock. Adrian puts it up, and he's got it. McNeil coast to coast, and Adrian was waiting for it. Defended by Kimball Walker, the freshman, driving the length and tipped up. Yes! Give the basket to Adrian of the Huskies. Two home games coming up this week against Villanova and St. John's. Adrian. Huskies are red hot from the floor. Nothing run by Connecticut. Austria back to Adrian. Senior to senior, and they keep on hitting. There is Jackson. Over to Nash. And again, a block. That's now 16 blocks. Quick shot. Nash. He's been active since coming in. Paragoni. Back it in on Nash. Shot. And that was against pretty good defense, too. Go with Walker instead. Adrian Jumper. And the seniors having a fine game. His final home game. And a career that I think 
in some ways has not gotten the recognition it deserves. You play a strong candidate. And there is Adrian keeping his perfect performance from the floor intact. In the first half, thought he was threatening to have a triple-double. He's had one of those already this year. It's Adrian. And he still has a miss. This time with the left hand. Heron Godey and Peoples behind the back. Wild scramble up ahead. Adrian knocks it down. Adrian back on target. Automatic. Between two defenders, Adrian again delivers the goods. They've got to continue that and then rebound if the shot is missed. Adrian, oh, the ball was partially blocked, but he powers it home. Yes. Patience. Adrian from the free throw line, the senior, the center. Look at him back the ball away. And again, Congress, but it's still pretty bad. Pretty play. How about that? Prince on the money with that delivery. And seven minutes to go. Adrian flash, look low. Adrian from the elbow, and the offenses are heating up. Has it back from Walker with 15 to shoot. Adrian left alone from 18. Well, that kid has just stepped up over his years. We saw him, plenty of spacing. Devendorf to the glass, blocked by Adrian. Nice throw. Austria got Harris way up in the air, then shot a floater. Flushed in, both Adrian and Fabit were there. Had a catastrophic knee injury in the NCAA tournament last year, and he keeps coming back and coming back and coming into this game. Price down to the post. Adrian off the miss from Robinson. Give me that shit. A follow goes on Sheer to the group of six seniors for the mocks to lead this program back to the NCAA tournament. A uh, really positive statement, though, about Chattanooga that they were in Tennessee. I'm not quite old enough to uh, understand the Glenn Miller reference here. That's a little more of your era than mine. Never got a chance to see Glenn Miller. Beige uniform. Texas A&M going man to man. And off Adrian and Jeff Adrian able to hit the short bank. Block. He had 144 in the season. Davis inside, and it's number two, and this time it's uh, Adrian with a block and a save. Beat around on the floor more. You can't just let him set up camp underneath and then attack him when he's stationary under the basket. Adrian drills the 12-footer, and it's a quick 6-0 start for UConn. 8-0 oh. UConn lead. Oh, my. Right open is Adrian. For the flush, he's averaging 13 and a half, and it's a 10 nothing start for UConn. Robinson, a three. Adrian sets up off three, and then Adrian, boy, he's been deadly in that 15-foot range. But so now Texas A&M has more of a fair fight, even though UConn still has size. Now they can go inside a little bit easier. Adrian, boy, what a touch. That ball landed just like that. is Adrian and that's his shot that's just too easy time to go UConn with the ball and a 19 point lead Huskies playing up to that number one seed and Adrian he's an automatic from there for Texas A&M now they can attack the rim without fear Robinson to Adrian <laughs> Mr. Automatic, if you please. Eight for nine for Jeff Adrian. Head coach. 30 Holy of Cross, yeah. At Holy Cross and also at uh, Seton Hall. The beat. And then the tap in from Adrian. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard is. Coaches look at those sort of things and they won't forget. You know, a coach like Jim Calhoun will agree. This such a powerful shot blocker and defender. A nice luxury to have. Adrian, he has complimented the big scoring game from the freshman point guard. Now they say he's going to be a star before he leaves the store's campus. Adrian inside draws the double team and fights his way through it. Boy, just pure strength. Etwan Moore came over onto the other end. Hummel misses his first shot of the second half. The long pass to Adrian. Adrian scores plus a foul. It has been difficult for UConn to score in the half court against Purdue's half court defense. But they have done a masterful job in transition, scoring off their own defense. Here, the turnover, 
and taking it the other way. Good pass ahead. And there's the strength of Jeff Adrian. He had a trailer coming down to A.J. Price that he could have jumped it off to for perhaps a transition three. But it's the most important player, Dick, on this team. He's their lone three-point threat. It's A.J. Price setting up Adrian, and Adrian scores. So the assist to Price, and it's back to a 10-point advantage. The five, there's the trap in the corner, but clearing it out of there. Deflection by Lyons, and then taken back by Adrian, and he slams it home. And they had Mizzou to... Someone's got to shoot. Four, three, Carroll will fire. And it's partially blocked by Adrian. Eluding the press. Adrian, and he gets the roll. 10-3 run for the Tigers from Columbia. Taylor takes it inside. Oh, beautiful block. I don't think they can afford to put him back in. Long pass to Adrian. Works his way underneath and scores. Over the last 10 minutes of the ball game. And again, Hashim the beat on the bench with two fouls. Quick pass inside, and Adrian is in double figures. More turnovers in this first half than they have an entire game on the season ever. That's Adrian. He loves that jump hook over his left shoulder, Jim. You can't let him get to that spot if you're defending him. For Michigan State, you've got to force him to a secondary move, not his primary shot. There's another block. This one by Adrian. Good move. Adrian likes this shot. He's hit it for the second time in the game. He loves that shot. That's dessert for him. Fade away, and that's a block by Adrian, his second. A number of guys that can block shots. Obviously, the focal point is the beat. He blocks almost five a game, but Robinson can throw it back at you, as can Adrian. That's Who's Walker deep? beating the post with the left hand. No, Adrian able to push off Rowe. He just out-muscled the freshman. Worked extremely hard over the summer, Jim, on his shot, and brings that confidence to the court more consistently now. Look at Adrian. In his way for two more. Well, that's the difference between a senior and Adrian and a freshman in Delvon Rowe. Delvon is going to beat Kevin way too many. They shot over 50% from the floor, Jim, when they took care of the ball and got it inside. That's Adrian's favorite shot and gets the dead ball off the back of the rim. 